G'day and welcome to today's Bottom Up Boats demonstration where we show you how to create a soft shackle from a Dunneva loop. To ensure you get the most strength out of your soft shackle, you want to start with the Dunneva loop that has the core running inside the majority of the way up. It's key to have four widths at the point where you're going to tie your overhand knot to create your soft shackle. It's then just a simple case of creating an overhand loop knot, making sure that you tease the knot all the way down so that there's just a small amount of tail at the end of the knot. Now it's just a simple case of creating the locking loop, which differs from traditional splice shackles. Take the loop, pass it in under itself, pulling it through past your stopper knot, like so. You then take the tail again, and this time flip it over the top of the stopper knot to create the lock, pulling the shackle tight to secure the locking point. So there you have it, one overhand knot and a simple locking technique to create your soft shackle out of your Dyneema loop. Depending on the thickness of the core that you use to create your soft shackle, an overhand lock may not be big enough. If this is the case, it's simply a matter of creating a double overhand loop as your stopper knot to get an increased knot size. You then can finish the shackle in the same way. We would, however, advise that this fixing technique is not as secure as spliced soft shackle. So if you're using it on sheets that are flapping around, we would suggest a traditional option rather than this quick solution that can be made on the fly. We hope you enjoyed today's demonstration and learned something along the way. If you did, why not leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe to make sure you get all the latest content from Bottom Up Boats as soon as it's released.